Well, let us observe the sun. Starting off today, with a meteoroid I spotted on the LASCOC3 filter, this afternoon. It's small, so I will show you the area it comes into view. I'll zoom in for a closer view. Now switching over to the LASCOC2 filter as the meteoroid can be observed entering our field of view, it is disintegrated before it reaches the sun. Up next is an anomaly I spotted on the 9th that oddly appears to be changing direction. I'll move in a bit closer for a better view. There seems to be a reflection just here. No major solar flares recorded the past three days on this flare classification chart, mostly A to B, class flares. On this CME model the latest flare from the 9th is mapped, as it gives Mercury and the Parker SP satellite, a slight dose of radiation and solar wind. On the coronal hole map, there are two formations, one at the polar top and the other rotating to be Earth-facing on Sunday. Here they can be observed on the SDO211 filter. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.